and Bad Wolf, and what I'll be showing you today is how to min-max day two in Stardew. If you haven't already watched the min-max day one tutorial, I'd recommend going back and watching that first. So I'm following the min-max guide by Blacksight6 and Zamil. I'll leave a link to that guide in the description. So the main goals for today are purchasing the fiberglass fishing rod and getting to fishing level four. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is check the mail. We need to read Willie's letter saying, come down to the beach to be able to get the bamboo fishing rod. Next, we'll water and then make a chest. Then we'll want to empty our inventory except for the chest, our hoe, and one stone. I'm also going to take this artifact I picked up yesterday. We want to get the 250 gold reward for turning in our first artifact to the museum. Then we'll head down to the beach. Now if you didn't get many spring onions yesterday, you may not have had the energy to chop enough wood to make a chest. In that case, you would need to do that before leaving the farm. On the way to the beach, we'll check the trash cans at George's house, the saloon, and Lewis's house. It doesn't matter if a villager sees us digging in the trash, we don't have any friendship points with the villagers to lose, and friendship isn't the focus of a min-max run anyway. Once we get to the beach, Willie will give us the bamboo fishing rod. I'm just going to skip this cutscene, but you can see the bamboo pole went into our inventory. Then we'll give Willie the rock we brought down here. This is to get the reward for the How to Win Friends quest. We get 100 gold for giving our first gift to a villager. He didn't really like the gift, but that's kind of irrelevant. We're just giving him something that we won't miss. So then we'll put our chest right here on the pier. Then we'll fish facing east. We want to use maximum casts. You're more likely to get higher quality, higher value fish the further you cast from the pier. And we're trying to sell enough fish to buy the fiberglass fishing rod today. We want to get perfect catches if possible to increase our fishing experience, but that's hard to do with this fishing pole due to the small fishing bar. Now, whenever you're fishing, you want to hold down the left mouse button when you've caught a fish and the fish is flying toward you. This skips the animation that shows what fish you caught and causes you to immediately recast. That way you're not wasting in-game time watching a graphic. At 8.30 a.m., we'll destroy the bamboo fishing rod and check the beach for any forageables and artifact spots. It's more important to get fishing chests than perfect catches because you can get really good items from the chests, like better weapons, ore, and bait. I forgot to claim the reward for the How to Win Friends quest after I gave Willie the rock, so I'll do that now. Then I'll pick up forageables from the beach. If you get an artifact from the beach now and did not turn in an artifact yesterday, then you'll want to go to the museum to get the 250 gold reward for turning in your first artifact. This will help us with the cost of the fiberglass rod and bait today. There weren't any artifacts on the beach today, but I did pick up an artifact yesterday evening, so I'm going to turn that in now and claim the reward. Next, we'll go to Willy to sell all our forageable items and fish. We'll also buy the training rod. So the training rod has a fishing bar size equivalent to what you would have if your fishing skill was at level 5. 
the bigger bar makes it easier to get perfect catches. The downside is it only allows you to catch certain types of fish, which will all be regular quality. So this is not the best fishing rod for catching valuable fish, but the fact that it allows us to get more perfect catches will help us to get to fishing level 2. We want to get to fishing level 2 before Willy's shop closes at 5 p.m. because that unlocks the ability to buy the fiberglass fishing rod. Things that affect the fishing experience points you get from each catch are the quality of the fish, how difficult the fish is to catch, perfect catches, and fishing treasure chests. The biggest impact comes from perfect catches. When you get a perfect catch, you get 2.4 times more experience points. When you get a treasure chest, you get 2.2 times more experience points. So that's almost as good as a perfect catch. So right now we want to focus on perfect catches as much as possible to up our fishing experience. You want to use minimum casts with this fishing rod. We're not going to get high quality fish with this rod anyway, so max casting would just kind of waste time. We want to fish until we're level 2 fishing, and have enough fish to sell to get 1800 gold so we can buy the fiberglass fishing rod. I'm using a mod called UI Info Suite 2. This is the only mod I'm using in this save. This mod just provides useful information that you can generally look up in the game or on the wiki, but it saves you the trouble of having to look it up. The main reason I like it for min-maxing is that it shows an experience bar at the bottom left of the screen when you gain experience points. So I'll know exactly when I reach level 2 fishing. If you can't or don't want to use mods, you can look up your fishing experience level in the skills tab in your inventory. You would just need to check that and make sure you're fishing level 2 before going to Willy to buy the fiberglass fishing rod. I'll leave a link to the UI Info Suite 2 mod in the description. If you're interested in learning how to install Stardew mods, I made a tutorial video on that. I'll leave a link to that as well. So I've reached level 2 fishing now, and I have enough money to buy the fiberglass fishing rod, so I'll head to Willy's. If you don't have that much gold on you when you reach level 2, just make sure you have enough fish to sell to get to 1800 gold. You'll want to sell all of your fish now. Any money left over after purchasing the fiberglass rod, you should spend on bait. I'm just going to equip the bait on my fishing rod. You can go ahead and destroy the training rod at this point. You'll want to use max casts with the fiberglass fishing rod to get the highest quality, most valuable fish, which will give you the most experience points. Now with the fiberglass rod, our fishing bar goes back down to the size of our current fishing skill level, which is fishing level 2. The smaller bar means we'll have less perfect catches, but using bait will increase the fish bite rate, allowing us to increase our fishing skill level faster. Now if you see bubbles in the water, it's typically better to cast into them even if you can't do max casts. The faster bite rate typically more than makes up for the slightly decreased variety and quality of fish. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to reach these bubbles even with an angled cast. At 4.30pm, if you don't have at least 35 bait left, you will want to go to Willy before his shop closes and buy more bait. We'll need enough bait to fish the rest of the evening and tomorrow morning. I have around 150 bait, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm starting to feel exhausted now, so I'll need to eat soon. Now if you cast when you have 7 energy or less, you will become exhausted. 
Normally, this would cause you to wake up with half energy the following day, but since we've increased our fishing skill level today, we won't incur that energy penalty tomorrow, as long as we eat something to go back to a positive energy level before we go to bed. When you do need to eat, keep in mind the gold per energy ratio of the different food items you have. You want to eat items with the lowest gold per energy ratio first. These foods make minimal money when you sell them compared to the amount of energy they give you if you eat them. As a general rule, you want to sell items with a gold per energy ratio of 2 or higher, and you want to eat items with a gold per energy ratio of less than 2. The lowest gold per energy ratio food you'll catch in the ocean right now is seaweed, followed by doja cola, then anchovies and herrings. You want to eat the highest quality anchovies and herrings before lower quality versions of these fish, since the higher quality fish have a lower gold per energy ratio. I'll leave a link to a list of food items with their corresponding gold per energy ratios in the description. So now we'll just fish until 2 a.m. and then pass out. We won't incur an energy penalty tomorrow for passing out, since we increased a skill level today. You do want to make sure that you keep four to five inventory slots free at all times in case you get a fishing treasure chest, which can give you up to four items in addition to the fish that you catch. So you can just move items into your chest periodically when your inventory starts to get full. Just before 2 a.m., you should put all your fish in your chest. We'll be back down here to sell fish to Willie tomorrow. At the end of the day, you should reach fishing level four. So, we reached level four fishing and we got our fishing rod, our fiberglass fishing rod today. So this was a successful day. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, consider liking it or subscribing to the channel. I have more Stardew tutorials coming up. I also stream Stardew and other games at www.twitch.tv slash wolftickles. Links are in the description. Thanks.